So DC at SDCC, um, that's it. I was just going to say, no Henry Cavill. One, it's rumored Henry Cavill is in Shazam. Um, and we saw the trailer for that. It looks okay. I saw the trailer for Black Adam. Looks okay. You know what? It, you know what it seems like, especially Black Adam. Black Adam looks like a superhero movie from six years ago. It's like, look, he can fly. He's a tortured soul. Like, it's like everything you sort of check in a box. It's like seen that in other movies and done better. And when I see The Rock in a movie, he, I don't think The Rock is particularly good at playing characters. The Rock is The Rock in every movie. If The Rock is in a Fast and the Furious movie, he's The Rock. If The Rock is in a Jungle Cruise movie, he's The Rock. If The Rock is in a blah, blah, blah movie, he's The Rock. The Rock is really good at playing The Rock. The Rock is not good at playing characters. And Black Adam is supposed to be a villain. And I think it's, a, it's kind of a mistake to cast him mm -hmm. as that because he's too likable. And if you're going to cast a villain, you can't have him be too likable. You can have him be relatable, but not not likable. And it, um, God, it really like. Yeah, there's no way The Rock is going to be remain the heel throughout the entire the entire movie. So, so announcing what they announced was like kind of unimpressive. They debuted the trailers. Okay, that's fine. What's going on with The Flash? This would have been a huge opportunity for DC to go, uh, or maybe even have, maybe it's pre-recorded, a video from Ezra Miller saying, I have been struggling. I hear you. I have made mistakes. I am sorry for those people whose lives I've disrupted. I've, you know, look, you could write a canned thing. It could be honest. It could be even sort of Ezra Miller style. But you knew that guy is batshit because I've seen him on panels in Hall H before. I've been in Hall H. I've been fortunate enough to get in there. I've seen him in there. He's crazy. He dresses, he dressed in this one outfit where he was like Princess Toadstool. And was he a princess and a mushroom? He looked like an idiot. And he was talking about smashing the patriarchy. It's like typical rhetoric you know, whatever. Wow, you're saying something very original. Who told you to repeat that? It's not very original. And he just seems off his rocker. San Diego Comic, he would have been the biggest. He It would have overshadowed two things that DC could have done that would have overshadowed Marvel. Marvel, more, 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 more of what you've seen. More of what you've seen. Third movie, second movie, another Disney Plus show. Who cares? Blah, 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 blah. All of that would have been overshadowed if Ezra Miller came out and made a statement, even if it was on video, if they showed a teaser for The Flash, which I've talked to people who've seen it, they say it's phenomenal. They say it's like a sort of, it's like Back to the Future mm -hmm. Part 2 over the top and includes aspects of the DC universe we all love combining. It's their multiverse movie. If they would have had Henry Cavill there and announced a freaking Superman movie. We're going on three Guardians of the Ga Galaxy. They're making a second movie with Captain Marvel. Or this would be, wait, no, she was in Endgame. She was in Ms. Marvel, whatever. That is a billion dollar check waiting to be cashed because that first movie, whatever you think of Man of Steel, um, it's aged better than you think. Maybe when you first saw it, it kind of was like, and, and I felt the same way. This was what, 2014? Am I right? 2014, yeah. 2013, Man of Steel. That music, Hans Zimmer. I get chills thinking about it. That original trailer with Kevin Costner. There's so many great moments in it. Emotional moments. And when you, when you saw that movie, it was kind of jarring. Like, oh, this is not Christopher Reeve. This is violent. This is, this is actually kind of based in reality. You know, it was like what Chris Nolan was doing with it. Chris Nolan was an executive producer on Man of Steel. Chris Nolan uh, grounded the Dark Knight in reality, right? Like, like when you go back, watch the Dark Knight trilogy, it's grounded in reality. This, a, a human could do all these things, right? This is all possible in this world, in this universe that, that Christopher Nolan created. That was the same approach they were taking with, Superman. You can argue about the ending and killing Zod and all that, whatever. We can go back and forth on that. 
but a Henry Cavill Superman movie with Henry Cavill coming out with that music and just a teaser with a logo and a title would have taken the con by storm. By storm. It would have been it would have overshadowed Marvel just two things. An apology um from Ezra Miller and just sort of a because look what, what we know about uh people they love redemption arcs right a redemption arc like that not for certain things for certain things you're irredeemable you know uh anything involving ending someone else's life just a lot of things that are irredeemable to me okay but what Ezra Miller is just being weird he's probably he he, he needs help for him to come out and make it would have been it would have trended on social media it would have been it would have been all anyone was talking about and then Henry Cavill Superman DC blew it now now wait wait for it are there are they saving all this for fandom mistake fandom does and i and i i've watched both the fandoms that they've done the DC fandom it's basically like 8 hours of commercials yeah, it's an infomercial for it's DC. an infomercial for DC everything okay um that's fine, but you've got all of the press there. You've mm -hmm. got, it's it's approximately, I only know this because I got the list once. Yeah. Someone leaked to me the press list from San Diego Comic-Con. It's 2,000 attending people, 2,000 people. And from every major outlet, name a geek outlet, they're there. A podcast, they're there. A television network is there. They're there. And DC blew it. They mm -hmm. blew it. Uh, they showed stuff that we expected, and it was good. Nothing that blew our minds. So what are we talking about? I guess we're talking about Marvel phase. Yeah. I mean, I'll defend DC in only two ways. One is, A, they, okay. they just got bought out, and uh, they got they got their funding for San Diego Comic-Con pulled at the last minute. And so, you know, there, there, was, there was an intention on the corporate side to, to – uh, you know, economize DC at this moment. The second thing, uh, the redemption of Ezra Miller. Well, is he ready to be redeemed? Is he in a position where he wants to be redeemed? And would putting him out in public be a worse thing uh, if he isn't truly there yet than having him out there at all? I don't know. Yeah, um, I mean, that's a, yeah. So well, I'll, look, I'll, I'll cut them a little bit of slack this year. Let's let's go to the chat here. I know you got to leave in like 15 minutes, Alan. Yeah. But let's let's look. Let's look at the chat. Retro Nerd Girl, DC, DC is still unorganized. Mm -hmm. They need to get their slate of movies in order. They don't even know who their Superman is going to be. Sad. I agree. I agree. Uh, Black Adam looks like zero fun, says Tucker Time. Black Adam just looks like we've seen that before. Like, mm -hmm. oh, it's Superman in a black suit, but it's it's, it's The, the Rock. Rock. <laughs> and The Rock is just The Rock in every movie. He's not... Yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't, it's not like certain actors, like a, let's say like a Mark Rylance, like sometimes Mark Rylance is in a movie and I don't know that it's Mark Rylance. That's how mm -hmm. good that actor is. Okay. That's an actor. So, and got them back. The, the Rock they, draws money. Uh, that's, that's the thing is he draw, regardless of what role he is or whether you like it or not, people will go see Black Adam because right. of The Rock. Gotham Bat says, are they doing DC Fan Dome again? That would yeah, be a positive yes they are so my guess is they're going to save it for that are there some new are there new super chats or stuff that i missed so no no not yet yeah um and aaron rosenfeld correcting some facts here for us thank you aaron for that i don't i'm not about look i know a lot but i don't know everything i know a lot about a lot of really stupid shit to be quite frank but um uh you know, uh, but I appreciate, I can always count on the chat of like, what's that guy's name? What's that guy's name? Oh yeah. He played Logan five, Michael York. Awesome. <laughs> Novel by William F. Nolan. That's Logan's run riff. But, um, but uh, Aaron says Echo is the first Native American Marvel character. Wait, is that before um, the, 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 when the X-Men changed, was it issue 94 of the X-Men? What issue was it of the X Men where they changed? There was that one character that was Indian, and he lasted one issue. Oh yeah, Thunderbolt. Uh, Thunder. Some. I can say Thunderbolt, but uh... look it up. Look it up. Uh, 
Are you sure Echo is the first Native American Marvel character? Because that was in uh, huh? Thunderbird. He's Thunderbird. Thunderbird, but he was like literally in one issue and killed. Yeah, they killed him off very fast. Yeah, that's the good thing about X Men is there's so many you can just kill them off, and I feel like they're using the term men in the same way that you would say mankind. Mankind includes mm -hmm. everyone. Yeah. Whatever. Well, they should replace it with the non-gendered X, so it'd right. be XX. And Shuxi here for a. Shuxi is here. Is that the symbol? Is that a member chat? I'm still I'm still figuring stuff out, folks. Yeah, they're kind of bolded. The the members are bolded. Okay, so apologies. Flaccid Phoenix isn't here to help us. It's literally like Flaccid Phoenix said, here's ten dollars, go get dad a pack of cigarettes. And then told Alan and I to go there. And then we bought comic books and candy and <laughs> push-ups. You know those push-up pops? Yes. They're delicious. Who doesn't love a delicious orange push-up? I'm sure they're like small size now. Shuxi says, open the USB file, Hal. I'm sorry, Chris. I'm afraid I can't do that. Um, and Shuxi also says, no, Disney is clearly non-ironically making the Hulk look like a useless sack. I don't know. I mean, we'll see. Like, it's like, whatever. We know he's not that. Yeah, I, you know, I miss Angry Hulk, too. I do. CD uh, Science, the second trailer look, makes it more look like an 80s, 90s sensational She-Hulk. Fourth wall breaking. Best part was he pushed her off the cliff. She flipped him the bird. Tells you all you need to know. I, I, I think it's just like it's straight up sitcom. It looks yeah. fun. It looks fun. It's a it's a it's it's a superhero thing. I think I could get my I could convince my girlfriend to mm -hmm. watch. It's like, let's just watch it. But I'll probably just clearly, wait. clearly that, you have a thing for Tatiana Maslany. I think she's great. I think that that I, I, she's the thing about the show that is, it's really going to come down to the writing. And mm -hmm. I think you'll, here's what I think. The effects from what we've seen are not great. You can overlook them if you're, if the story is good. Okay. We've done this with a million. Look, Logan's run. The effects are, they, they vary from like amazing to horrible. And I overlook it all because of the amazing score. And and uh, I love Jenny Agater. Whole yeah. other conversation. Yeah. Folks. The, the thing about the Hulk is when you got rid of the whole anger turns him into the Hulk, you, you took away basically the character. And now he's just a big green guy who's smart. The Bad Bandito says, wasn't there an American Indian in Days of Future Past? I think, yeah. I think there might have been. Shaman and Alpha Flight, says Stephen Lucky. There you go. And uh, John Witchboy says, I think DC is hoping everyone forgets Ezra Miller. Yeah. I Just would get agree. the movie out of there and then move on. <laughs> DC blew an opportunity. And I don't care. I know they're reorganizing whatever. Your yeah. two top priorities, fix this Ezra Miller flash thing. And it's, and it is, I believe it's fixable. I believe it is fixable. And from what I'm told, there's a very good movie there that I hope we get to see. But, and then as for Henry Cavill's Superman, check waiting to be cashed is what that is. Mm -hmm.